Hi, I'm Mark Camosio, Gun Mark TV. We've got here to show you quite a significant gun. This is the first gun to be produced under the rebranding of Brocock, and it's the BRK Brocock Ghost Carbine. You do get this case all part of the um, deal, and uh, it's quite a nice, obviously, very compact recessed case. You've got all the padding there, and then it's all cut out for, for the rifle as well. Now, I first of all point out, obviously, this is an additional um, optional extra, and we'll, we'll come to that. So, the Brocock Ghost, they are, they are doing various versions. So this is the carbine, it comes with a, the smaller 300cc bottle, and it obviously makes, the, it's in keeping making this really, really compact. But there are two other versions, there's the Ghost Plus, and the Ghost HP high power, and they will both come with a 480cc bottle, so a significantly larger bottle. You're gonna get loads more shots. Obviously, once you're going into the high power range, that's a, that's a big bonus, you've got more air supply, and because obviously the, the FAC is gonna use a lot more air. Anyway, back to this, it, it's extremely compact, but the first thing I'm gonna say is, although it's lovely and compact, as you, we said before, with similar rifles, your hand is so near the end of that barrel, it's unacceptably unsafe and you just can't do it. So I've got to say, that's threaded, ready to take a silencer. The first thing, it's an optional extra, but you really do need to invest in a silencer that will go on and Brocock supply a whole range of these. This is the shortest version, but uh, zero dB, so it's like zero decibel. That's the make of the a silencer, but very swish and it perfectly complements that gun. Now instantly you've got that, we're gonna grip there, there's just no chance a risky accident, so that, that's the basics, but if, I really would advise it. But yeah, very, very slick looking rifle. I've gotta say, I was a bit surprised because they're following, obviously Brocock, um, they're all part of the same group that own Daystate as well. They make no secret of that, but I, they, they're getting very similar with the looks. And obviously it helps them with componentry, using similar parts of the platform and the chassis, but I would have thought they want to keep a, you know, a bit more differentiation between the brands. But that aside, this is an extremely impressive air gun. It's all manual, it's a mechanical action rather, rather than any of the, obviously the electronics of day state. But it's the build quality and machining on it really is in, uh, you know, it's, it's in the top league. So looking at the front, you've got uh, the shrouded barrel, so that, that comes there. As we've seen, you've got a threaded muzzle to take half, in, half inch UNF staff um, thread on silencers. Carbon fibre body bottle. You've got Picatinny accessory rails all over the place. You've got a dovetail that runs right the way along the top edge of that axe, the whole chassis. And then you've got this additional clamp on high rise, that sort of intermount style mount. And it's that style mount being used because of course this is effectively a bullpup action, you know, so the action's set right back. <clears throat> really slick side lever. That's that's very nice, a sort of biathlon style side lever action. You've got the um, sort of AR compatible drop down grip. Really nice two stage match grade trigger. It's just bursting with features wherever you look on this. So now on here you've also got twin manometers. So you've got one on here, that's showing the full residual uh, pressure of your, your main air supply in the bottle. But then on the other side you've got one that's actually badged up Huma. Now this is because it's a regulated action and they, there's been a deal with the Dutch company Huma. So it's got a, a Huma regulator inside the action and that's very effective. Um, I'll mention that now, we, we, the shot count on here, obviously that's quite a tiny bottle. But I've had on test about around two, 245 shots, all within a sort of 20 odd, 21 feet per second, which is pretty phenomenal. So that's showing the, um, the, the regulator at work. This is a multi-shot rifle, so it uses the, the new sort of gate style magazine. So you've lift that up, you, you do pre-tension that and fill it. We've already redone that. Uh, pre-done that and the clever part of this is that the magazine can actually fit from both sides so you'd have to um, have a buy a razor kit for the cheek piece but then you could actually locate the magazine in the other side as well and the key thing is you can have two magazines 
snapped into the breech at once and then they join with a magnet and then you can just snap the other one slightly across and you're into the second magazine so it's, it's a very neat system and it obviously ups your potential shot count i mean magazines as they are it's 13 shots in 177 and it's 11 shots in 2.2 again they're nicely made magazines now other features on this gun there's a lot obviously that you get for the money i mean these aren't cheap but they're as i say they're building a lot into this you've got a very fine power adjuster at the back here it's actually effectively 20 stage and it on test obviously it's dependent on pellet and power setting etc but this is i found the minimum was around about six and a half foot pounds and obviously once you lower it to that your shot count's going to massively increase so it's a lot of versatility which that's building in so if you just want to practice or have a you know an extended informal session and you don't need full power you know i've i've found it with sort of competition shooting over the years certain pellets might just like a little bit lower velocity and here you can tweak that all at the twist of a button very user friendly and you can yeah you can play around and experiment so it's got a lot of uses and there is some adjustment on the cheek piece you can see there it's a bit basic on that you just adjust the, the allen keys and then slide that along the um, dovetail as I say, there's a razor kit to enable that magazine facility. Adjustment of the butt, again, is done there. Slacken that off and it, it um, adjusts. It, that, that butt plate will move up and down. Um, so there is some adjustment. It's an impressive bit of kit and it's the, it's, you can clearly see the direction that um, Brocock are going with this. You, the other thing I haven't mentioned is PRS, Precision Rifle Systems. They make um, sort of run by Gavin Jones and they make, they've got a deal with Brocock and there's a whole list of very high quality add-on butt sections and um, razor rails and butt hook uh, assemblies etc. And you can buy them and then take off that very plain back and put that on so you can transform the, the fitting of this. And they're all available and they're all linked in with Brocock BRK's website. It's got a manual safety catch, as you can see, it's got the push bolt style, so it's red when it's live, and that's manual, so again, you don't touch it if you don't need it, but it's there and it's quite neatly done. You can actually switch over the mounting of the side lever, so obviously I'm right handed, I've got that fitted on the right hand side, but look to the other side, you can see the blanking plate, they put that in and it's quite an easy process to just switch the side lever so it comes, it comes out and it's operable from the left side which makes it all pretty slick so pull back the lever take your magazine we've already primed this as we said snap that in and it's pulled in by magnets you can hear that click in nice and positive and thereafter you can cycle the action <clears throat> because of the positioning of the lever you can cycle it you know whilst you're whilst it's actually in the shoulder which is really nice As you can see there, it's incredibly smooth. It's as fast as you want it to be. It's got such versatility because it's it's top level. We've had great accuracy from this as well, and we'll show you that as well. But yeah, overall, a very classy bit of kit. So yeah, that's the Brocock Ghost, a BRK Ghost Carbine.